I am Dr. Rekha Palladgu, Consultant Nephrologist. I am in charge of the nephrology services at KR High Tech City location. I did my medicine from Usmania Medical College and moved to United States. Uh, there I did uh, my MD in general medicine followed by nephrology. I worked there for six years in private practice and I moved back to India last year. I am glad to be associated with KR Hospital since early this year. The most common causes for kidney disease are diabetes and high blood pressure. It can also happen due to other diseases such as lupus. Um, kidney stones are also very common that we notice. Uh, most of the times there are no symptoms associated with the kidney disease. Sometimes you, know, you can notice swelling of the legs or blood in the urine or the urine can be foamy or frothy and there can be um, high blood pressure associated with it. Um, but um, it's very surprising for us to see when people walk into the clinic with no symptoms and then when you do the test for the kidneys there is a lot of kidney damage already present. That's why it's very important um, to screen and prevent early kidney disease. If somebody finds out that they have a problem with the kidneys they have to be under the regular care of a nephrologist. Uh, what we do is we regularly follow the blood and urine test. We do tests to find out what is the cause of the kidney problem and then we follow the levels regularly. We suggest changes in the diet and medications to prevent worsening of the kidney problem. But sometimes um, when the kidney problem worsens to the point where um, there is little or no function left, that's when people would need dialysis. Dialysis is a life-saving procedure. Um, at CARE, we offer different forms of dialysis. Uh, when the kidneys can da get damaged, um, in intensive care setting because of um, infection then we do uh, different modalities of dialysis um, we can do a regular hemodialysis we do uh, sled which is a slower form and we do a continuous form of dialysis which is called CRRT if somebody continues to need dialysis and they are dependent on dialysis we have uh, two different forms of dialysis one is um, peritoneal dialysis where you can do it at home. The other one is hemodialysis where you come to the clinic three times a week. Dialysis basically filters the toxins um, and also removes the extra fluid from your body. People who have end-stage kidney disease um, where the kidney function does not recover also have another, um, another choice, it's uh, renal transplantation. Renal transplantation always provides a better survival benefit compared to dialysis. We screen patients who are suitable for kidney transplantation and uh, offer um, kidney transplantation services at care high tech location. Um, we do both living donor and also uh, can register patients for cadaver donor. Living donor is where a family member can donate kidney uh, to the patient whereas cadaveric donation is pa patient will be registered with the cadaver program and can get a kidney from um, a brain dead patient. We at Care High Tech Hospital uh, provide screening services for the kidneys. We do tests related to the kidneys such as urine tests and blood tests. We also scan the kidneys uh, with ultrasounds and also DTPS scans. Um, we also offer dialysis services and uh, renal transplantation options. But prevention is better than cure, so early screening and diagnosis can, also, uh, can always help to prevent long-term kidney damage. Thank you.